Okay, moving forward, we now have the vetoed ordinances. That's ordinance number 2019-23, an ordinance of the Town of Phillipsburg, County of Warren, State of New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 530, Solid Waste Recycling, Section 3, Solid Waste Recycling, and the Code of the Town of Phillipsburg to address the maintenance of waste receptacles. And vote yes to override the veto, no to leave as is. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Discussion, Councilman Clark. Yes. Um, so I guess more of a comment. So when this came across um, the table back on October 1st, I had asked if this addressed all of the uh, the insurance concerns. Um, I found that it actually doesn't, um, and there are still some gaps with this ordinance. Um, one of the things I found or you know noticed is. The 45 cans would stay, but the weight cannot exceed 50 pounds, correct? I'm just worried about the burns that then lays onto the resident who then is responsible for weighing that garbage themselves. So if it were to go over, and you know, we don't have scales for this garbage. Are we not opening ourselves up to some sort of lawsuit if it is over 50 pounds and one of our DPW workers get hurt? Councilman, this, the 50 pound weight limit has been in there since the 1980s. I agree. Cool. Okay, so if you agree, you're now questioning the 50 pound weight limit. I don't I'm not, I'm not questioning the weight limit itself, but the fact that we're now adding 45 gallon cans, which are bigger, doesn't that make it harder to gauge that weight compared to the, what, 32 gallons, which is a smaller one? Well, it's I, easier for the resident to gauge that weight with the smaller can. Well, 50 pounds in a 32 gallon, or 50 pounds in a 45 gallon, or 50 pounds in a 5 gallon is. 50 pounds. Yes. Right? So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not sure, to be quite but honest with you. you. I have more than a 45 <laughs> gallon, which makes it seem like you have more space, less weight. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> and a 32, there's less uh, movement for error. So what you're saying is 45 gallons is misleading to the resident. The can size could make it seem like it's, it looks a lot lighter than it really is. I'm looking out for the DPW workers and any undue burns that could be put on the resident. That's all. Okay. Uh, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Councilwoman. Has there been any discussion on what will happen to the bags that people leave for about three months until they figure out we have a new ordinance again? Because I haven't seen anything addressing how we're going to notify the residents. Uh, I don't want to find a bunch of orange stickers on bags around so town. So if I may, if, if we successfully override the veto, I believe the mayor's office will then go and go ahead and notify the rest of the town of Phillipsburg of the new law. Because he vetoed it, I believe that's why he did not reach out to the rest of the town of Phillipsburg. Okay. If I, if I may. Is correct. that correct? Okay. Yes. Sorry. I was it would go assuming. on the website and it would go also on my, my page. And I'm sure the council's page too. Thank you. Council looks. The only thing that I'm good this is for 45 gallon barbecue, right? That's correct. Okay, not 32, 45. That is correct. Okay, that's all I have. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Council Vice President, I'm good. Sir. I'm good as well. Roll call. Council yes. Clark. Oh, to, just to make it clear again, I think, is that what you're going to say? So it's yes, you vote yes to override the veto, it's no to agree with the mayor. Great. There you go. Council Clark. No. Councilwoman D. Drollman? Yes. Councilman Lutz? Yes. Council Vice President McVeigh? Yes. Council President Holder? Yes. 2019-23 successfully overridden and takes place on, it's effective October 21st, so we will go ahead and push all that information out to the residents.